everyone, Crystal Beeling here. I thought today that I would chat with you guys a little bit about how to properly store uh, your Posh products. Now, this tends to come up more during the summer months when it is hot out. A lot of people don't have air conditioner, air conditioning, or they leave things in their car or whatever. But um, I, I thought that it, you know, we need to store our stuff properly year round. So I thought I would talk about it. Um, Posh is naturally based. And what that means um, is that a lot of our products will have a tendency to have a lower melting point because of the ingredients that we use. Um, things like coconut oil, that, um, that goes to a liquid at about 74 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you have a really warm bathroom or say, you know, you don't have AC and it's like 90 some degrees outside, um, your coconut oil could end up being a liquid instead of a solid, which is perfectly fine. Um, but I know a lot of people aren't expecting that. And, and that can kind of translate across some of our other products. Um, things like shea butter also, you know, has a lower melting point. So let's start there. Um, like I mentioned, coconut oil, this happens to be one of our old products, um, coconut oil is solid at room temperature, as you can see, um, but it does have a really low melting point. So, like I said, you know, if your house or room or wherever is hotter than about 74 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit, this guy is going to turn to a liquid. It's perfectly fine. It's not a big deal. If you want it in solid form, just pop it into your fridge and it'll go back to being its solid form. Um, I actually prefer these bottles. Our, our coconut oil comes in tubs now, which is a little bit easier, but for the bottles, I will actually um, just kind of run it underneath the sink and it goes to, you know, under hot water for a couple of seconds and it'll go to a liquid. Um, so that's something to keep in mind, especially if you are somebody who does not have air conditioning or if you were to like leave coconut oil in your car, um, the tubs, you know, that the coconut oil comes in nowadays, they aren't leak proof. So always be wary of that. Okay. Along those same kind of lines, um, like I mentioned, shea butter also has a lower melting point. So things like our skin sticks. Uh, this is the Sleepy Sleep Skin Stick. Things like their skin sticks are also going to melt in warmer temperatures. Now, it's not going to be like our coconut oil where, you know, it's sitting around and, and it's going to melt everywhere. But it will reach a point where it starts to get soft if you don't have it stored properly. So, um, you know, don't ever leave this guy in your car. That's, that's, you'll have it everywhere. All right during the summer months. Um, now, if you do have it that you sit it on a wind, wind, windowsill or somewhere that it was in the sun and you're like, ooh, I think that might be a little hot, do not open it, okay? When you open it, that's gonna go everywhere. So what I encourage you to do is leave it like this and set it in your fridge like that so that it can all reform, okay? Again, same thing with our lip products, our caffeinated lip balms, and our lip scrubs. Uh, you guys don't want to leave these in a hot car or in the sun. Um, even if you are walking around on a hot day in the summer and you've got these in your purse, depending on how hot it is outside, you might run into an issue with these starting to melt. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, so along the lines of, of sort of melting, but not so much because of water, um, I want to talk about our chunks and our snarky bars. So, um, our chunks, I have, I love you a whole brunch. Um, I have, I cut my chunks in half. So, but our chunks, um, because they use a lot of naturally based ingredients, um, if you leave these sit in the shower stream, they will slowly start to melt away. All soaps do that. Um, but you want to keep that in mind when, when, um, you have these in your shower stall. So set it, um, I actually have a, a little bucket. I don't know that I want to call it a little, a bucket, but it's this little, it's a soap dish essentially. Um, and I have that, my shower stall is on this end and I actually have it on this end of my shower so that my soaps are not getting constantly saturated. Okay. It will make your chunks last a lot longer that way. I love the smell of this chunk, by the way. <laughs> Um, again, same thing with snarky bars. Um, 
And these in particular are really important to keep out of the water stream. Really important. Um, these are jam packed with shea butter and sugar beads. Sugar beads will dissolve in water. Okay, that's the whole point. So it's part of the reason why we use them um, because they will naturally dissolve. So if you leave this sitting in your shower stream, your snarky bar is going to go bye bye real fast. So when you are storing these guys, um, again, this one is whole, but I actually like to cut them so that they're a little bit more manageable. Um, but when you store these guys, again, I store them opposite from my shower stream so that they're not constantly getting wet. All right. So, um, just something to kind of keep in mind when you're using some of your products. I thought that it might be helpful to throw that together. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, have a great day.